Hi, uh, good morning. Welcome to Tech Tricks Info, the engineering tutorial hub. Today we are learning about a JCB backhoe loader machine. Why this machine is called as a uh, backhoe loader machine or an excavator loader machine and we'll identify the main components of this, this particular machine. So uh, let's divide the machine into uh, two pieces. So here what we have is um, the front side and here we have the rear side. So the rear side we have uh, a hoe. This looks like a hoe. This unit looks like a hoe or this is called as the excavator side. Hence this is the back side. We call it the back hoe or uh, we call it as the excavator side and coming to the front we have the loader bucket over here or it is also called as the shovel. Hence, uh, combining these two, we can call this machine as a backhoe loader or as an uh, excavator loader machine. Uh, this is a JCB backhoe loader machine over here. Now, let's go towards the loader side and identify the main components over there. So, this is the loader side of this machine, and uh, this is, uh, side, uh, this is called as uh, the loader, uh, the loader bucket and uh, this is 1.1 cubic meter loader bucket for this jcb machine uh, so this is the loader bucket over here and next we'll have the loader ram this is a loader hydraulic ram which uh, helps to move this loader bucket hence called as the bucket ram we have two such rams uh, to move this bucket and uh, next is the loader arm this is a hand of the loader uh, to which this uh, loader bucket is uh, fixed hence it is called as the loader arm and here we have the loader and ram there are actually four loader rams these two are also called loader uh, rams but they are also called as a bucket ram hence uh, because it's powering or helping to move the bucket the loader bucket and here this is the lift ram because this ram uh, helps in uh, lifting the loader arm because the movement of this particular ram on the left hand side also we have another ram on the same position so the movement of this particular uh, particular ram uh, helps in lifting the loader arm hence called as the lift ram so here this is a pre cleaner we have the pre cleaner over here this is a unit which uh, actually sucks the air from the atmosphere and passes it to the air filter of the engine and through which it has been uh, transferred towards the engine inlet manifold. Here we have uh, the exhaust pipe. The exhaust coming from the engine moves towards the atmosphere through this pipe. And this is a fuel tank on the RH side or the right hand side of the machine here we have the fuel tank and on the left hand side at the same position we will be having the hydraulic tank of the machine where it will be storing the hydraulic uh, oil which is using for the hydraulic operation of these uh, rams and other uh, functions. So this is where the engine is mounted. So now let's uh, move towards the rear side of the machine or the excavator side of the machine so this is called as the excavator side or the back hose side so this is the excavator bucket this is 0.24 cubic meter standard uh, excavator bucket used in uh, jcb machine and uh, here we have the uh, bucket ram this hydraulic ram uh, assist the movement of this uh, excavator bucket uh, that means the uh, movement of the hydraulic uh, ram is connected towards this uh, end of the bucket which result in the movement of the excavator bucket so we have the tipping link beneath here and uh, we have uh, the tipping lever uh, over here so the uh, simultaneous motion of this tipping link and lever connected towards the ram and the excavator bucket helps in moving them so this is the dipper because this is the portion which is used to dip while an excavation uh, purpose has been done so this is called as the dipper and this is called the dipper ram because this the movement of this ram uh, result in the movement of the dipper here you can see it is pivoted uh, at one end towards uh, the dipper and other end towards the uh, boom side over here so the movement of this ram helps in moving the dipper and this unit is called as the boom you can see at this area this uh, gives a similarity towards the look of a boomerang so hence it is called as the boom and the boom ram is inside uh, this unit so 
it's located over here the boomerang is inside and this unit is called as the king post uh, the king post actually has two uh, hydraulic ramps over here which helps to slew the excavator towards the left hand side and the right hand side and uh, the boom is pivoted uh, towards uh, the uh, king post over here and here we have the stabilizer while excavation uh, work has been done this stabilizer comes down and lifts lifts up this uh, jcb machine from the ground so that the wear and tear will not be happening towards the rear tire hence more stability will be there as it will be resting on the stabilizer here we have a close-up look of the uh, king post uh, and the king post carriage this is the king post to which the boom has been mounted and uh, this slow ramps the uh, inward and outward movement of these slow ramps result in the excavator to move towards both the sides and this king post is mounted towards the king post carriage as you can see it has been connected towards the king post carriage and this king post carriage is resting on the cross rail over here and this king post carriage can be shifted to both the directions through the cross rail to improve the excavation length and uh, that can be accomplished by releasing uh, this hydra clamp hydra clamp is used to fix the king post carriage towards this uh, cross rail now let's move towards uh, the cabin so let's identify the components inside the cabin this is how a, a jcb back hollowed or cabin looks like here we have the forward reverse switch putting this switch to the forward direction which will help the machine to mobile forward and putting it to the reverse will uh, let the machine to move in the reverse direction and we have the brakes over here you can see two brakes have been linked together using uh, a portion over here because uh, in a jcb machine both the rear tires have independent brake system so that uh, it can reduce the turning circle uh, by breaking uh, the inner tire so that's uh, the purpose of these two uh, different uh, brake uh, uh, pads or uh, the brake levers been uh, given over here uh, you can see this clamp if you remove this clamp this uh, both of them uh, will work as an independent brake system which will uh, stop uh, that particular uh, tire only or that particular uh, wheel only uh, when it is being applied while this lock is being uh, put in uh, both the tires will stop uh, instantaneously at the same point this is the accelerator uh, this is the light control and also the wiper control here we have the loader control the loader arm uh, can be controlled by this lever and the bucket also is being controlled by the same and uh, this is the gear lever over here and this is the parking brake coming towards the rear this is the excavator control levers the excavator boom dipper and the bucket ramps can be controlled by these two levers which help in the excavator control and also the slew has been operated by both these levers and this uh, lever you can see over here is a stabilizer control which helps to bring down the stabilizer or uh, push up the stabilizer uh, as per the requirement while we do an excavation job so I believe we got an idea about the components of a uh, basic uh, JCB backhaul order machine. For more technical uh, related and engineering related videos, you can visit my uh, blog uh, or my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video.